Hello everyone, uh, I welcome you all to the third uh, lecture of the Apache Storm. Um, in the first two lectures, um, uh, we have discussed about the basics of Apache Storm, like what is Apache Storm, why it is required, and uh, like, uh, like what's a plus point, what are the features of it. And afterwards, we discuss the basic components of Apache Storm. So don't worry, like, um, like let, like I quickly finish this theoretical stuff, then we'll start with the practical stuff as well. But uh, like to start with the practical, you, you must know the basics. You must know the terminology that uh, we'll be using in that code. So that's the reason this this uh, theoretical information is so important. So let's discuss today's uh, point, uh, the third video's uh, cons uh, like uh, main uh, uh, topic, which is a storm data model. Every but every framework uh, like follows its own data model, its own terminology on which it works. Similarly, like uh, Apache Storm has has its own data model. Okay, so it's uh, like let's discuss that data model. Like what is all about? What the basic uh, unit that used in the Apache Storm, and what are different terminologies that we use in it? Let's start with it. The basic unit of data, uh, like uh, which is used and processed by Apache Storm, it is called a tuple. So you must be wondering, the tuple, uh, like, uh, it's not that the same thing that you have learned in the um, DBMS, like in a tuple is used, like, in many ways. Tuple is also a, um, we use in uh, DBMS, just to uh, denote the um, a, a row, right? Uh, we use that the term tuple. It's also a collection in Scala, so like it's have a multiple uh, like uh, meanings. So in this, but in the case of Apache Storm, it's a basic unit on which the Apache Storm works. So each tuple consists of a predefined list of fields. The value of each field can be of any type. It can be byte, char, boolean, or binary. So uh, in addition to it, the 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 the, the uh, advancement or the 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 plus point in the Apache Storm is that it also provides an API. To define your own types which will be discussed later on or uh, which can be serialized as fields in a tuple okay so tuple is dynamically typed this is one of the uh, i'll say uh, one of its a uh, plus point that it's dynamically typed so you just have to define the names of the fields not their type this is the very good thing uh, for the end programmer so the choice of dynamic typing helps you simplify the api and makes it easy to use so it's quite user friendly Okay, the the biggest uh, the the main thing in the whole uh, third lecture is the term topology, right? So you must be wondering that topology you must have learned uh, like in the networking class. So it's have it's have a similar kind of meaning. It's also arrangement, right? But this time it's arrangement of something else. In the networking, it was arrangement of the nodes or computers, right? But let's discuss what the topology is all about in Apache Storm. In the Apache Storm. Uh, terminology or uh, the topology is an abstraction that defines the graph of computation okay so how the uh, how you compute like uh, the graphical representation like we can represent in the way in the form of topology so you can create a uh, you create a, a storm topology and deploy it on a cluster to process the data and topology can be represented by DAG uh, direct to direct acyclic graph the DAG thing again uh, uh, we have used in the uh, Apache Spark. Uh, so DAG uh, just represent the like uh, that how the data flows in the topology, that how it enters and how it uh, like uh, follows the different levels and reach to the destination. Okay, this is how it look like. We have so let's let me discuss like in it. Uh, there's a lot of terms available which uh, we haven't specified earlier. So <coughs> I'll come back to this diagram in a while. Let's discuss. <coughs> Uh, the basics. Uh, let's discuss the um, uh, keywords that we have uh, drawn on this diagram. The first thing is stream. So what is stream? This arrow represents a stream, right? This uh, this uh, edge uh, represents the stream, right? The key abstraction in the storm is that of stream. The stream is an unbounded sequence. I hope uh, you can figure out the difference between the term bounded and unbounded. Bounded meaning is rigid boundaries. It means we know the starting, we know the ending. It's called rigid boundary. Um, example is anything happened in the past, right? Uh, anything happened in the past, we know, right? Like uh, what's beginning, what's ending. But if anything is happening, which is happening currently or which is gonna happen in the future, will be considered as unbounded sequence because we we don't know, we don't know the boundaries. This there's, there's no rigid boundaries in it. This is called unbounded, right? So stream is an unbounded sequence of tuples which can be processed in parallel by a storm. 
so the storm can be viewed as a platform to transform those streams so stream is continuous data which is coming up right the second uh, component uh, in uh, like uh, as we if we continue with this uh, components topic is spout so spout is nothing but a source right from where we're getting our data it's a source of tuples in a storm topology like in the case of flume also we have a source channel sync so the sources we can you can you can like uh, imagine it as a spout so it's a source of tuples from where we're getting data it's uh, responsible for reading or listening to data from any external source so like and the spout can emit multiple streams each of the different schemas uh, the, sp the spout has a capability that it can emit multiple streams or multiple continuous flow or continuous stream of data each of different schema that it means that every stream can have a of a can have of different structure okay the the last point of this short video is the pole the third and last uh, uh, important uh, thing of that um, topology part is boat it's a very crucial thing, right? It's a processing power powerhouse of a storm topology and it's responsible for transforming a stream. I hope uh, you guys are, are, are aware of the term transforming. Transforming means the changing the state of the data from one form to other form. Okay, so the bolt is responsible for that transformation. So ideally, each bolt in the topology should be doing a simple transformation of a tuple, right? So like if you wanna do some transformation, like, um, like you must have, uh, uh, done it in a spark like map flat map filter this kind of transformation will be done by the bolt this time in the case of apache storm so just to end this lecture let's just come to that uh, diagram again to just to discuss again like we have the three things available i hope you can now understand what spout it's an entry point or uh, the source of external tuples uh, we have a stream which is represented by this edge right uh, it's a directed edge and uh, which indicates the flow of the data then we have a uh, we can have a uh, multiple bolts which can uh, do its own part of processing because uh, one bolt can't do anything uh, like sorry everything so the the task or the the job has to be divided among the multiple bolts so this is called as a topology which consists of stream spout and bolt i hope uh, you must have understood this point as well so i'm just going in the sink uh, with the um, uh, strong beginning starting from the introduction then we discuss components and third one was uh, now this is the third one i hope uh, you must have understood this and if you have any uh, doubt or question i'm i'm open to this uh, all the uh, questions right i'm going to address these issues if you have thanks for listening uh, i'll now i'm looking forward to you to the fourth one fourth video